we're going through. Are you guys all seniors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're going through the process now. You played by all the rules. You're sweating how you're going to pay for it, how in the world you're going to do it without going up to your eyeballs in debt. And then you read the news and see splashed all over that well-to-do people can grease the skids, hotwire the system, get a big advantage because the system really is tilted towards the most affluent people uh, in our country. And it was driven home just in the last couple of days. I have town meetings. Have you guys ever heard about that? I have these meetings in every county every year. So in Klamath Falls uh, a couple of days ago, a young woman came up to me afterwards. She said she can only afford college by making a three-hour drive a week from her home to OIP, and she's going back. She's a you know, young mom, and they're obviously watching every nickel to try to figure out you know, how to do it. And she's got kids and the like. And then we've got a senior who's interning in our office, could be any of you guys, said that she thought that the system was rigged against middle class students because she couldn't pay and her family thousands and thousands of dollars for all the prep stuff. You know, you heard about all that SAT prep and this prep and, and that prep. So what I can do is I can end the taxpayer giveaways that help the wealthy by, in effect, admission for their kids to the elite um, colleges. So what I'm going to be doing is saying, first, I don't think the federal government ought to just perpetuate this you know, rotten system by giving out tax breaks for a parent's donations to schools uh, before or during the student's enrollment. It should be pretty obvious. Okay? <coughs> That's nothing that your families can do, write off big checks in the middle of the enrollment process. So. Uh, that, to me, shows how this tax code, and I'm the senior guy for the Democrats, always seems to favor the most fortunate. It's kind of like we have two tax codes in America, one for a cop and a nurse, the taxes come right out of their paycheck, no breaks, no deals in the Cayman Islands, but if you're really wealthy, you can pay what you want when you want to. It's really a sweet kind of deal. So what I'm going to do is when I get back to Washington, propose ending the tax break for donations made to these schools before or during the enrollment of the child of the well-to-do donor's um, family. And to me, it's just a double standard puzzle. I don't see very many students at Madison being able to have families that give them, can give them that kind of advantage. And what I really want to do is just get your thoughts um, about what you think of this. I know the Madison Senator Scholars Program is something that a lot of students have really relied on, which strikes me as a very appealing, very cool kind of thing. And when I'm home, I like to hear what you guys would be working on if you were in my shoes. I've been to Madison a couple of times, and nobody at this school has ever been shy. <laughs> All right? So don't break the precedent, Madam. And so with that, I yield to my senatorial colleagues. All right? Let's hear what you'd be working on, what you think of this idea. Uh, does it make sense to you? What, what do you think about the double standard? Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on this. Who wants to start it off? 